Psalm 60, verses 1 to 5. O God, you have rejected us, broken our defenses. You have been angry. O oh, restore us. You have made the land to quake. You have torn it open. Repair its branches, for it totters. You have made your people see hard things. You have given us wine to drink that made us stagger. You have set up a banner for those who fear you, that they may flee to it from the bow. That your beloved ones may be delivered. Give salvation by your right hand and answer us. This is the word of God. The way of the cross does not promise you a smooth and comfortable ride to the throne room of God. Rather, it promises you hardship, persecution, oppression, injustice, and many small defeats and what might seem like failure along the way. This isn't an easy path. There are inevitable setbacks. But remember in those moments that God is ever still a consistent, unchanging God of his covenants and God's covenants the covenants that are dependent not on our circumstances but on unchanging God alone his covenants will never fail you see the psalmist he sees that Israel is defeated by their enemies and he cries out to God You have made your people see hard things. Our defense is broken, God. You have rejected us. But the same psalmist, in his defeat, also cries out to God for salvation. Why? Because a psalmist understands that there is no point from which God cannot save us. God can save us. God is the God of His covenants. His promises is to make us His kings, and He will do it. Though we may experience defeats along the way, Though we may experience setbacks along the way, He promises salvation. Brothers and sisters, do not be distraught when you face defeats. Do not be heavy-hearted when you experience setbacks. God is a God of His covenants. Amen.